Hey, this is Greg Breton reporting from Hawk, Michigan, because it's cold as shit out. What I'm doing today is a disassembly of my rotor so I can actually get them off the powder coating and do a rebuild kit on them. There's a bunch of how-tos on the interwebs, but I'm going to see what I can put together. Maybe something new you'll learn, so we'll go from there. All right, to start breaking this down, it looks like you have to... Well, not lose your... Uh, 17 millimeter that you're about ready to use on all four of these bolts so uh, have an impact if not I guess you're gonna be wrenching by hand sucker cuz I'm not hey it looks like that got half of this caliper apart that was super easy this will also be rebuilt too Yep. Got me. Oh my god. That's crazy. Look at this. Uh, my hands are dirty, but right next to this. Why do I do this to myself? This is stupid. Alright, so as always, bag your bolts. If you like me, keep it a guessing game and don't play a bolt. Alright, so all my pads are looking pretty garbage. It's time for some new ones. And these were, uh, not Akibono, uh, that's the calipers. These are Carbotech AX6 pads for autocross. And if you like dust all over your stuff, I suggest these pads are for you. I would say that it was the right decision to break these, uh, these calipers down. It's like missing most of that gasket. This thing was on its way out, so it is awesome. I decided to go this direction, so very pleased with this decision, because that is junk. Woo! I'm glad that wasn't on camera. I just smashed the shit out of my hand in a, well, I'll just show you. Fuck it, her. Smashed my hand. I don't even know how I do this stuff, but I'll show you. In this drawer right here, Went like that. This crunch got fucking four fingers for one, baby. All right, so what I was gonna show you over here, I got some, uh, I got some cheats. There's a Auto Dynamics has an awesome parts washer, so I just threw my uh, calipers in here to get all the junk cleaned out. So let's see how it did. Got these out of the parts washer. It's looking pretty good. And now you're supposed to pop these turds out by hitting some air in that. Watch this. I think you're supposed to see if I can see if I can get this on camera. Sweet. Do that again. Next. All right. I don't want to get shot in the face, so. Next! Oh, shit. That's how you do it. Okay, so moments later we find out reasons why that was a, not a great idea. Uh, 
These cylinders are machined uh, not to have scuffs on them, so when it hit the ground, it left a little, little nick on that. So, oops, whatever. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. Okay, so what's next? I actually have to remove this gasket. And then after that, there's like a, a ring inside here you have to pick out, so... Uh, here it is. That shit. And I think there's a uh, one more gasket in here. Yes, yes there is. Uh, I had a pull pick tool somewhere. Hold on, hold on. Okay, got my pick tool. That. All right. Let's see if we can get in there. Let me show you why I'm not a dentist. Yeah. Yeah, get in there all deep black. All right. Well, hold on. Yeah. All right. So I got to do that like a few more times. That's what the empty cylinder looks like. So I'll spare you seeing it that many more times. Okay, so on the second half of this deal, you have to uh, pop this out by creating some sort of a seal on the other side that has been broken. So all I did was use a rubber glove, uh, use this C-clamp, and then use the piston and put it back in there. Let's see if... Uh, Without launching it all crazy as shit in the air, I'm gonna try doing this. Well, see if I can, here. We'll just uh, adjust this. There we do. See if you can get some video of it here. How's that look? Like shit? All right, good. We're just in position then. All right, so right here, this is where you're Hydraulics come in. Bam. That easy. Glad I didn't hit the camera. So, went over there. Popped out of that. All is good. Okay, so it's come down to this. I finally got all my stuff together where I have to run down to the powder coater and drop off the turbo housing on the cold side and... What else? Valve cover brackets. And what you just saw me take apart, I think I'm gonna throw them in that video, uh, which would be the calipers. So yeah, uh, it's all in this box right here. Don't mind the mess in the car. It's winter, I hate cleaning my shit in the winter. It's not dirty, it's just cluttered. I need to explain myself to you.